So this is a quick video just to show what a Home Assistant automation looks like. So Home Assistant is a Python based application. It runs really well on a Raspberry Pi and it's useful for automating all kinds of smart home, uh, smart home devices. So this is Home Assistant running uh, in my home network here. You can see I've integrated it with uh, Philips Hue. This is, oh, well, actually all of these are just standard out of the box integrations. So that's Philips Hue uh, with uh, Nest cameras. So these are cameras, doorbell, etc with uh, Sonos over here. So these are all the different Sonos devices in each of the rooms with Apple TVs, with Nest um, thermostats here. And then here with if this, then that. And using that, it um, uh, it sets up a geofence around my house and then sets this Boolean to true if I'm home and then to false if I'm away from home. And what that does, or you can include that, that the state of that Boolean in automations. So I include it in my good morning automation so that it only warms up the coffee machine if I'm physically home. I'm the only coffee drinker in the house, so there's no point in turning that on if, uh, if I'm not here. So these are all standard automations, and I've had this set up for a while and working, working pretty well. But today I added this uh, set of switches here. So these switches are some uh, non-standard automations. And uh, I'm in my home office right now, and in my home office I have these, uh, these iMacs built into the wall up here. And these I use for all kinds of um, status reporting and reports, and it's useful when I'm at home and uh, working from home and walking around my office to see the, the data on those screens. But I only want the screens on when I'm physically in my office. And so far, well, I've just had some uh, basic schedule set up. So they wake up in the morning and then they go off uh, in the evening and they just have the same um, application running. I have a little application running on them that, that puts various different uh, reports and applications up on, on the screens. But I only want that running when I'm physically in, in my office. So when I'm traveling or at the weekend, it would still, it would still wake up and they would just be, be on there. So I have some Python code here. And what this does is it switches, it can switch off each of the iMacs by SSHing into the iMac and then issuing commands to, to switch it off. And then can wake them up again by sending a wake on land magic packet to each one of the applications that wakes the iMac up but into a sleep state. And then, then once it's in that sleep state, the screen's off, but you can SSH back into the iMac in order to issue commands to, uh, to wake it back up again. So the off uh, state of this button will switch it off and then uh, switching it back on again will, will wake it up. So I can show you it doing that now. So I will just uh, switch off this uh, screen one here. So if I click that, it will turn it off. And you can see up there screen one, it immediately went off. Um, so I'm now gonna uh, switch it back on again. One moment, and then you see it just woke up. Um, so that works works pretty well. Uh, one thing I wasn't expecting that works uh, well with Home Assistant is um, my Home Smart Assistant. I can't mention it. It's that one on the desk there um, because it will wake up. Um, is automatically integrated into these switches, so I can just go, Alexa, turn off screen one. Okay. Okay, and that works. Alexa, turn on screen one. Okay. And it's back on again. So that just comes out of the box with Home Assistant integrated uh, with Alexa. Of course, she's gonna wake up again now. Um, but just by having these switches enabled, I noticed this by accident, they just appeared in the, uh, in the application and then just, just called that command and it just worked. So that means I can switch these screens on and off, but I'll show you how this works in, in an automation. So I have um, a pair of automations that I've had set up for a while now. This one's called Office Leave. So this is triggered every time I leave my office. So I'm in my office now, and this is a separate building from my house. It's in the garden of the house. So I have to walk across the garden to get back to the house. So I wanna track when I'm in my office or when I leave my office and then run these commands when I leave my office. And the way it, detects the state of where I am is using this device tracker functionality. So again, this was just a standard module I enabled in, in Home Assistant. And the way this works is uh, I use the Ubiquiti Unify networking and I have uh, the same network across my office and the house, uh, but I have an access point in my office and I have various access points in my house. So uh, this device tracker functionality integrates with, um, with Unify and specifically the access point in my office. So it connects to the access point in my office and looks at all the clients that are connected to the access point and it's looking specifically for my iPhone. So when I'm in my office, my iPhone is just on the desk here, 
my iPhone will be connected to that access point. When I walk back to the house, my phone will roam from the access point, disconnecting from the one in my office to an access point in my house. And this just happens actually very, very reliably. I've tested this out, but very reliably, pretty much when I get to the back door of my house, my phone is disconnected from the access point in my office and it's connected to one in the house. And this changes the state in that, in that um, in Home Assistant from this device being home on that access point to being not home. So this uh, automation for office leave is simply triggered based on that state change. And I have the, uh, the pair of this, which is office arrive, which then um, uh, triggers a whole bunch of uh, actions when, when my phone comes back to my office. This, this works really reliably. So it calls a bunch of services, uh, this is one that switch off the hue lights in my office. I just popped a hue light here on my desk so you can see this working. It pauses the, uh, the Sonos in my office. Um, for fun, I have a lava lamp that I plugged into a smart plug and it turns that off. Um, it runs this shell command and this shell command is to uh, snooze Slack notifications. So when I'm in my office and I'm on a call or something like that, I wanna have, or I'm just working, I wanna have all my Slack notifications that be up to date with what's going on. But when I'm in my house, I don't wanna be continuously interrupted by uh, notifications that are then appearing on my watch and these kinds of things. So I have this shell script, which is just a, a curl command to uh, the Slack API, and it just um, snoozes my Slack notifications uh, when, I leave, when I leave my office. Uh, this is another smart plug, uh, smart plug for a globe I have. Um, and then this is what I added today with, uh, with these switches I, add, I added. And it just turns on the, off the screens um, with switch dot turn off as a service, and then it calls, um, sorry, sends each one of those the entity ID of the switch that I, I set up um, for each one of these these iMacs. So I'll show you this working, and to make it work as easily as possible, I will um, instead of <laughs> walking to my house, I'm just going to uh, switch off Wi-Fi. So I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi. Um, so although my phone's not going to connect to the house now, it's going to disconnect from that access point, which is the only thing that's really uh, needed to make this work. Okay, so the Philips Hue light just went out. Uh, you heard Sonos has, um, has stopped now. And um, zoom in here, you can see uh, Slack has uh, poor, uh, sorry, snooze notifications. And I've just added all the screens have now turned off. So that's what I wanted. When I get to my house, uh, the, uh, all these things will turn off. So I'll do the inverse now. I'll turn Wi-Fi back on again. This will take a few seconds. There you go, it's connected. And then we'll see, okay, that's turned on. Let me just look at the screens. Take a moment. Okay, okay Somos is back on. The screens are coming on. There we go. And that's the hue light back on, and then you can see uh, notifications have stopped, and the music's playing, and even the globe over there has uh, turned back on again. Um, so that's it, that's a quick uh, automation in Home Assistant.